Okay, now I'm gonna uninstall the Cooler Master Hyper 212 so I can put it on my new X6 and use this motherboard. So, yeah. <laughs> Tricky Disco
want to do I will hold this love for you You're always on my mind I love sick and crazy inside Anything you want to do I will hold this love for you you guys I just finished up sorry about not recording the whole process because my camera actually went out of ran out of memory so obviously I didn't have a computer so I had to finish up and transfer all the files but anyways finished up everything's all set up everything went well everything's going perfect so as you can see here it is installed perfectly AMD Phenom 2x6 it's running at stock clocks right now and I'm probably gonna overclock it so I'm reading the manuals right now and 4 gigabytes of DDR3 and surprisingly it booted a lot quicker than I thought I think it's thanks to that DDR3 because for the most part boot up usually well CPU does play a role but the hard drive SSD or you know higher RPM or whatever should boost your boot up time but I'm surprised so as you can see I'm editing the video at the moment so let's go check out the computer itself and you know what? Let me bring a flashlight. You can't see anything. Oh, you still good. You still really can't see anything, but I'll try. So you see the ports in. Everything's all good. You can't even see the RAM because of the CPU. Everything's running really cool, actually, cooler than I expected. And there's the GPU, and it's pretty much it. I actually installed the CPU a little backwards, so the lights are actually on this side now doesn't matter though, I like it a little dark and everything's all good yeah I didn't, there's no point of showing you here, I can't even see anything it's pretty much it, it's all done and you won't even care about the CPU temperatures according to core temp it is running at 19 right now 19 degrees celsius pretty low if I, you ask me get focus yeah, sorry, my hands a little shaky. Yeah, 18, 19 is hovering around there. 
And yeah, I love it. So yes, I did clean the X4, which is right here. There you go. Oh, nice and tidy. It's in the X6 box. And I'm going to sell it, pretty much, along with the other stuff. So that's it. I'll make sure to update you guys with other videos on the process. Excuse me, on the upgrade. Alright, see you guys later.